morning YouTube uh, I'm gonna do a um, overview on the 2008 CRF 250 um, I just uh, I guess a full description of everything that was done where we started um, originally the bike the bike the pair of bikes was purchased uh, two 2008 uh, basket cases and I can show you <clears throat> basically what's left of the other one which would be that frame there's a few pieces parts I've got plenty of other stuff let's see um, let's see here okay so there's a spare front wheel you guys can see there's some triple trees another shock uh, some brakes um, inside that tote right there there's your cases there's a crankshaft transmission cylinder head um, of course that frame and swing arm those spare radiators um, <laughs> excuse me allergies are getting me a little bit this morning <clears throat> um, Here's a set of uh, brand new black uh, <clears throat> side covers and a rear fender. <clears throat> and of course that frame, the swing arm. Uh, that's a 49 tooth sprocket off of my 2023 450. There's a pair of radiators, they are bent a little bit, but they do hold fluid, they don't leak. Okay, so back to the bike. Um, Let's start from the chassis. <clears throat> so, uh, we tore this bike. It was partially assembled with no engine in it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so we completely scrubbed the bike while it was disassembled. I went through all the suspension bearings, replaced what needed replaced, greased everything. Um, so far the forks are not leaking oil, so I haven't touched them. Um, they are slightly used uh, tires that came off of my KX250 that got stolen <clears throat> uh, with two brand new inner tubes uh, installed by the Honda dealership because I kept pinching them. I couldn't get it to happen there. So uh, brand new uh, chain and sprocket set. It's uh, Sunstar. It has uh, brand new centered bronze uh, brake pads front and rear. Okay. Um, these are the good ones right there. It has new fork guards. Um, this is a, uh, hand-me-down front fender that came with the two bikes as well. Let's see. I had to buy new radiator shrouds because I only had one. <clears throat> um, this OEM Honda fender and these side number plates I actually bought from the same guy I had to buy the airbox assembly from. Um, it has a brand new uh, twin air pre-oiled uh, air filter in it. And I had to also purchase a gas tank and a complete list of OEM parts, replacement parts like that cylinder head mount stay bracket there. Um, I think that about covers the chassis. Let's see. Um, engine wise so this is a uh a stock honda titanium head pipe um and i installed a new big gun eco series muffler okay so let's see engine wise oh yeah this is the original honda seat cover by the way has just a couple little holes in it it's actually in really good shape <clears throat> so yeah engine wise okay so out of the two engines um this one has a new honda oem crank has uh, a select amount of bearings or certain bearings rather in the bottom end have been changed all seals gaskets um has a brand new vertex stock bore stock compression uh piston um I had to replace the camshaft, but I bought a, uh, a brand new OEM replacement Honda camshaft for it. 
Uh, it's got a brand new pet cock. It's got a brand new timing chain tensioner. All these things were missing. Um, genuine Honda filter and oils in this thing. Um, an all balls carburetor kit. New all new vent hoses. Um, it has uh, engine ice uh, coolant. I installed a brand new set of uh, the dual compound Kevlar Aramid grips and some donuts. I guess that was a personal preference of mine. Uh, the lever, this boot, the plunger, the rod, every single bit of this was all missing. So it's all been replaced with OEM Honda stuff. And uh, this is good. Uh, on this side, the, uh, yeah, the original uh, purchase stuff was in pretty bad shape uh, again this was my personal preference i went with an adjust on the fly uh, pro taper setup so and your hot starts right here so um it's finished it's done it's running i've done uh two heat cycles on it i did not purchase an hour meter for this bike um because I'm not going to ride it, so I guess whoever buys it can put an hour meter on it and keep track of, you know, how long it repairs, how many hours is all this work has on it, but uh, originally we bought these two bikes so we could flip them and make some money, and I have far exceeded what I could profit on this bike by putting it back together. I let my emotions get the better of me. Um, Let's see, we're probably going to lose about six to $800 on this bike. Um, the good news is I did take two complete piles of garbage and I rescued one good bike from it. So um, I can feel good about that, I guess. <laughs> but uh, this bike is going to go up on Marketplace for sale uh, probably today. And I wanted to... Um, just uh, post a, a video uh, giving a brief description of everything that's been done to it but it's done it's ready to go um, again like I said we originally purchased these bikes if, with the intention of uh, selling one of them and then when my uh, my 2023 450 and my 02 kx 250 two-stroke got stolen um, I, like I said, I could let my emotions get the better of me and wanted to get this bike done so I would have something to ride. But the simple truth is it was an investment project to start. That's what it is. And it's going to get sold. So um, I'll worry about getting something else to ride at a later date. Um, so um, just wanted to do an overview. Anybody interested in buying this bike? Um... I'm going to sell it at a set price with all those spares. And with anything, of course, there's wiggle room. But with wiggle room, that means the spares don't come with it. Because I could probably make about $1,000 off of those parts selling them one piece at a time on eBay. <coughs> and then I won't be losing money on this bike. But just in the interest of getting the money, getting some money out of it and getting it gone, uh, I'm going to try to make an effort to sell it as a package deal and uh see how that goes but um as always uh thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for your support have a good day